It was, it was exciting, it was a lot of fun. Um, it's a neat opportunity for these ladies to get in and, and mix up and try some different things. The program itself, um, the curriculum is designed pretty straightforward where as the ladies work through each of the parts, uh, they acquire different skills and understand the different components that are involved in the Android system. And so everything from just all the different intricacies that, that they can they can use and utilize in the phone when they develop their app. So by going through all the hacks, they they learn um, the different tools that are at their disposal. So that when they go to design their app, they can they can throw in all these things that they might not have thought of before because they they've worked through the curriculum. Um, we jumped in a little late. Um, I was at a workshop with another teacher and, and saw he was talking about what they were doing. I was like, okay, I, w I want I want my ladies to experience this because it was it's an opportunity and and half of my. Um, uh, computer programming classes is, is, is females and so here it was a chance for them to go and do something and it was application it wasn't just like we have to pass an AP test um, so they got to jump in and they got to play with it uh, there was some frustration for the ladies in the beginning because having spent half a semester learning how to program in Java and then jumping into this app they were restricted within what the blocks and the structures they could do uh, for the other young ladies who were in the general introduction to computers class they were actually already using scratch so when they took a look at App Inventor they could see the blocks and they understood how they kind of linked together and so the transition for them in some ways was easier but they hadn't hit as much of the uh, or didn't have as much of an understanding of algorithms as the ladies in the in the programming class so it was an interesting mix as they joined together and did their search all over the web and they crawled all over looking at all these different apps and trying to come up with what was the app that um, best interested them and we had an amazing mentor um, Cleveland and she came in um, with like awesome experience as far as what does it take to get something out there and how do we how do we find something that's of interest to, to you that that's new and hasn't been out there and what can we find and so she just did word after word after word we just did flow charts and all these kinds of things till the girls finally came down to a list of like 20 items that were their primary concerns and things they could fix and things they could do um, and then they narrowed it in out of one and then from that point on they just pour into it and tried to figure out the color scheme and and how to move between screens and there's a lot of little intricacies that as you're exploring it there's there's a, some frustration and some other things and, and some of the things that oh well we can't do that yet and so um, later on this year they're actually going to jump in and, and try some stuff in Eclipse where they can do get a little more involved as far as they have more control of it. Uh, App Inventor is a really great tool for teaching and when we jumped into this I wasn't aware that we went and actually create a marketable, uh, well, it's marketable, but I didn't realize that we were creating an app that wouldn't actually be complete. And so, yes, it runs on the phone, but to get like the interface with Facebook and all these other things, there's a whole bunch of other things that you have to add to it. So, we kind of made a mock um, prototype or whatever, and so it's it's neat. Um, but to actually have the finished product is is the next step, and to get them to a point where they, I mean, what they have works. And it's pretty awesome and their idea is, is creative and innovative and it ties together a bunch of concepts and it deals with, you know, they're all freaked out about the SAT. Some of them have taken it, some of them are going to take it and so they came up with something that, that met their needs and something that they, could, that they definitely could buy into and definitely understood and could definitely pitch that. The biggest challenge for me in the end was all the components that are built up in the, in the program so that when you actually come down to the final design, because I could let them loose and they could tear through making the app. And so there was that component to making the app, but all the different components that go into all the research, um, the marketing plan, the, and mixing that in with like their business plan and how they're gonna put all this together. Um, there's so many components that we spent a lot of time focusing on the app and, and we knew, we, we did a lot of market research and looking at a lot of things, but when you actually have to come and put it together, there's, there's a lot of glue and a lot of sewing. And so it was really easy for the ladies to be excited about making the app. Um, and they enjoyed the research to a level, but there's, it's pulling it all together, it, it takes time. And so you feel like, hey, we've got an app, we're done. No, there's, there's all this other, these other things, these components that you have to put together. It was interesting to see their growth because when you're teaching them in a class, you have a set thing and you have some goals that you have and in this they got to interact with somebody completely different and even um, my other students that would sit in on the on the lectures from our our mentor 
they they learned so much and so to watch these kids grow and watch them just they took everything they had learned from all their other classes and pulled it together in this in this group and so it was this it was this, this synthesis of of taking all these other things um, and and working with this with this mentor and watching these young ladies kind of evolve well evolve but but grow um, far more uh, complex and their 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 critical thinking skills and their ability to um, interpret and apply things it just it was it was exciting to watch and I was very hands off in that I was there to encourage them but I really they I really let it be their project I let them do what they wanted let them work with their mentor and and so kind of stood on the side and would say okay I would give them time guidelines and, and you know you kind of got to keep them in that that timeline and, and, and focus on that stuff but other than that they just pretty much took off this year, I tried to get two groups. I had one successful group uh, that, that could make all the times and make all the things. Next year, I'm targeting to have four groups. And I would highly encourage any teacher that has any interest and especially wants to promote um, females in technology or just females, just their self-esteem and getting them into a program that encourages them as young women to be successful and find something productive and be, know that, that there's a challenge out there. And I've got a whole bunch of ladies that are excited about this and, and want to sign up for next fall so looking at groups of people and I, and I think that any teacher that um, that cares about and has time to, to give to their young, young ladies should should tackle this <laughs>